guys welcome back to my channel I am Danielle aka Stitcherista here on YouTube and today is another face-to-face -face chat and we're gonna do another holiday tag since that was so popular yesterday this one is called the holiday style now I don't consider myself any bit style I mean everyone's got their own style right but <sighs> mine's very casual I guess so Yesterday, uh, the arbitration, the morning was rough. It was. Um, the afternoon went much better, and I was actually able to be done at like 6.45, which is almost 45 minutes earlier than I'm normally done. So that was really good. We had dinner. We got in the hot tub. I did some stitching. While I started watching that movie with Sandra Bullock that's on Netflix, Unforgivable, um, very good. I have about a half hour left. And then I watched um, the first two episodes of the new Sex in the City, like, reboot. It's called an... What's it called? And so... That... I just... Wait a minute. I'm going to find it. Because I subscribed to HBO Max so I could watch it. Wait a minute. New episodes, and just like that, that's what it's called. Um, tough first two episodes, let me tell you. I'm not going to give any spoilers away to anyone who hasn't watched it. But yeah, got some good stitching done, and Carolyn Manning has released a bunch of new patterns, and oh my god, they're so gorgeous. And um, found out today that um, Bill will be going with his daughter to Tennessee, leaving Sunday morning. The service is Monday. They're going to come home Tuesday because, I mean, next week is Christmas. So, um, and they're driving. They're going to take my car. My car gets really good gas mileage. And, yeah. So, um, that is happening. Found that out today. And thank you to everyone who commented and left condolences and everything. It is just... Between that and then my mom losing her friend, it, it just it's just also awful, like right now. So, but yeah. Okay, so the tag, and I kind of prepared for it. I read over the questions very quickly because it's only 10 questions, but I have props. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so number one, and here I, I'm going to get my prop for this. It says, show us your name and or show us. Number one is your favorite winter nail polish. Now, this is my favorite nail polish of all time. You know, I um, use Color Street um, Tokyo Lights. And I even went so far. It's what I have on my nails right now. It is just the most magnificent one that I've ever used from Color Street. And I even went so far. I went on eBay because apparently it's, I don't know if it's discontinued. I went and I bought like 10 sets. Yeah. Um, I went kind of crazy because I just love that color so much. It literally goes with every outfit. Like, there isn't anything that it doesn't go with. All right, number two, your favorite winter lip product. So I can link this because I got this on Amazon. I don't know how to pronounce this. I want to say it's Laneige. Who the fuck knows? It's a lip sleeping mask. So this one is Berry. I also have, um, I want to say Lime, I think, downstairs. So this is like 15 bucks. It's not cheap, but it works fantastic. So it comes with a little scoop, but I don't fucking use that. All I do is I just dip my fingernail in it and you don't need very much. Now at night, I use this when I get out of the shower and before I'm getting ready in the morning, before I'm putting on my makeup so I can let it like sit on my lips. But at night, I really glop this on because you wake up and your lips are buttery soft. So... This is just really fantastic. But I also wanted to show you my lip color because I only, I ordered some lip glosses from ColourPop because they were having such a good sale for Black Friday. But the lipstick, the lip combo that I normally use is Tristique. It is, what is this one called? Florence Fig. So how I put it on, and I'll put it on, I will outline my lips with this. And if it gets on my lip, I let it. I 
You didn't know you were going to have a makeup lesson, did you? <laughs> and then over top of that, I use Deck of Scarlet's three-way solid lip oil in, Jesus Christ, that's small. I want to say it's nude. It's nude something. So it's three-way lip oil. There we go. And when you, you have to click the bottom until it comes up. And I may be out of this. God, I hope that's not the case. Holy shit, because it's not coming up. <gasps> I bet I'm out of it. I'm going to have to order some of this. I will put this over it. And it's a really nice, I'm leaving this out here because I'm going to order some of that. Um, it's a very nice nude all to me, goes with my hair, the color of my hair and everything. It's a really good color for any outfit, seriously. Okay, so enough of that makeup lesson, right? All right, number three is your most worn winter clothing piece. Um, don't really have a most worn, but um, I am a hoodie and sweatshirt. Oh, my lifeguard sweatshirt, right? Had to say that. And if you know, you know, if you watch my stitching, my retreat video, as I just hit myself in the glasses, um, <laughs> yeah, um, sweatshirts and I'm, I'm a hoodie and jeans person for sure. I mean, every day, just about, I wear a hoodie. Okay. Number four, your most worn winter accessory. Now I don't have a most worn accessory, but I wanted to show you my coat. I got this and I'm going to put it on. I got this from Costco and it is by Nautica, the brand Nautica. I want to say the coat was 30 bucks. Now I got a large because I wanted it a little room. I wanted to be able to wear a sweatshirt under it, right? So it has pockets and it also has these thumb things, except I fucking hate that. So I just use that, but look at the hood. Can you even right now, right? Yeah, this is a very warm coat. Um, absolutely love it. Yeah. And I had, this was in, I posted a picture on Instagram when I got my um, Chick-fil-A milkshake. And someone had said, oh my God, where'd you get your coat? And yeah. And what's funny is when we were in Ocean City, when I was in Ocean City for the retreat, I uh, saw somebody wearing that coat. They had it. They had it in red and black. I tried on the red one because I really love like bright colors, but I really like the white one. So that is my favorite winter accessory. Or it says most worn. Okay, number five, your favorite winter scent or candle. Hands down, it is Yankee Candles Balsam and Cedar. And I don't even have one, which is so funny because that literally is my favorite scent, I think, of all time. Always, always. I'll burn that all year long. Don't even have to be Christmas. All right, number six, your favorite winter beverage. Now, I'm a coffee drinker. I've tried to drink hot tea and nah. I recently, so much so that I went to Amazon and bought a six pack of this because why am I spending so much money every week at the grocery store for it when I can get it in bulk from Amazon? It is Javalia's Frothy Cappuccino. I don't like sweet, sweet, sweet coffee. And this is absolutely perfect. So it comes with, you put this, this is the coffee. You put this in your Keurig. And then it comes with a frothy milk packet. This is like powdered milk in here. So you put this in your cup and then it brews the coffee over it. And it does, it is frothy. It is foamy. It, it is delicious. I absolutely love it. It is my favorite thing now, and I have probably two a day. I'm really trying not to drink coffee or anything caffeine past noon because I watched a YouTube video where they said it stays in your system way too long. Okay. All right, number seven, all-time favorite Christmas holiday movie. It's probably not necessarily Christmas because I talked about Christmas movies yesterday. But my favorite holiday movie is Home for the Holidays with Holly Hunter and Robert Downey Jr. and a bunch of well-known people. It is actually takes place over Thanksgiving. Absolutely love that. 
And I also love Charlie Brown Christmas. I'm sorry, I'm checking an email right now. Okay. Yeah, um, but the Home for the Holidays with Holly Hunter, it's fantastic. I absolutely, and it, it rings so true to real life, like what can happen. Yeah. Oh, and I clicked off the tag. Okay, number eight, your favorite scarf. Now, I am not normally a scarf person, but I have had these two scarves made by subscribers, and I'm so sorry that I cannot remember who you are, but this one, I feel like this was made by the person that made the thing on my chair. I don't remember though, so don't quote me on that, but aren't these not fantastic? And then this one, I mean, look at this one. It's sparkly and has purple and teal and we'll just put that one over there. And then number nine, your favorite holiday food or treat, pumpkin pie, hands down. Um, I could give a rat's ass about the meal, except for biscuits or rolls. I don't care for turkey, really. I don't care for ham. Um, pumpkin pie. Just give me a big pumpkin pie by myself and a, a shit ton of Cool Whip, and I'm good. And then number 10, this is going to be a really short video. Um, we only got about 20 minutes left in the lunch break anyway. I had sushi today, by the way. The uh, gift card from DoorDash that Janine sent me, I'm dying here. Um, was worth $25. So I only had to pay $2 for my sushi today. So yeah, I ordered sushi and I just had it and it was delicious. So, oh my God, thank you so much for that. All right, number 10. What's at the top of your Christmas wish list? You know, this is probably one of the first years that I don't have like a present present that I want, like a big present, I have everything. Um, it's funny because Bill told me that he always gets um, stocking stuff for me and his stepdaughter, and now her boyfriend is added into that. He always gets um, our stocking stuff at Five Below. <laughs> he came home yesterday, because he went yesterday, and he said, my God, I spent $112 in there. And he said, and I had to stop myself. I said, well, you know what, love, next year, because I call him love. I said, you know what, love, next year, you can take all $500, because that's what we budget. Um, he saves in a holiday club all year long for us to pay for Christmas. And so him and I spend $500 on each other. And I said, you can take all $500. I won't give you a list, because this year I didn't give him a list. I put a shit ton of stuff on my Amazon wish list. He had ideas. So I literally know nothing that he's getting me, and I'm very happy about that. But I said, you can go into Five Below next year and buy me like 50 presents. Like, I would have so many kips under the tree. He's like, I'm not doing that. I'm like, I'm joking, but I kind of wasn't. Like, if, there is so much stuff in Five Below that I love. Like, gadgety stuff, candy, t-shirts. They got like everything in there. So, I guarantee you he got me some good stuff. And he always gets me makeup from there, which isn't necessarily bad, um, some of the stuff, some of the brushes he's gotten me have been really good in there. But there's really nothing. You know what I want? Peace. I'm looking forward to having a week off of this arbitration. That's at the top of my fucking list, you know? Um, especially since we're working on Saturday. Yeah, working four hours on Saturday. Well, I'll be working from probably 9 until 1.30 p.m. Um, yeah, so... But that's it. I know this is kind of short, but that's okay. Um, again, thank you all so very much for all of the condolences for Bill's sister. Um, I just can't even believe that Christmas is in 11 days, that it is a, a week from Saturday. I just, I can't believe it. Um, Bill was actually done wrapping though and shopping, so he's very happy about that. Well, we have to wrap one more present that's kind of oddly misshaped and he's like, please, I need your help. So I'm like, okay, you know, no problem. But, um, yeah, um, I have a mammogram next week. I actually scheduled that on, um, the 22nd at 7.30 AM. And then I actually have a massage at 1.30 because I had to skip so many weeks because of Thanksgiving and then being at the retreat and I skipped like three weeks and I mean, 
during this arbitration, I had had a massage scheduled every single week. And given that Christmas and New Year's both fall on Saturdays, well, there I'm screwed right there. So I actually have a massage this Saturday at 5 p.m. because of me working. But then I told her when I saw her last week, I'm like, do you have any time during the week? I said, because I'm off, right? And she did at 1.30 on Wednesday. So that will be really good to have. And yeah, today is not going too horribly wrong. And I hope I didn't just jinx myself by saying that. Um, it's been going pretty decently except one little snafu we had, but it wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, so I am going to end this here. You guys are welcome to leave your answers down below to the tag. I loved reading your answers from yesterday's tag. That was quite hilarious. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.